Hello, fabulous superstar Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2024. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, without a doubt. Big moves happening in the sky now. Boy, is this a very special time, and it truly is so special now. Powerful energies with us on the second of the month. We have a solar eclipse. Now, this solar eclipse is set to take place in a financial part of your sky, having to do with money you earn, money you spend. Self-love and self-esteem are covered here as well. And it is this eclipse that is speaking in a conversation of tension with Mars. And to me, that suggests motivation and a sense of being spurred to action. Now, Mars is moving through a friendship part of your sky, which does suggest that friends and money don't mix at this time. Of course, it's always up to you to decide what's right for you to do in light of your unique circumstances. But oh boy, energies are running very high. And it might be a friend that in some way is um, part of putting pressure or part of uh, sort of the stressful piece in your life in some way. And I'm so sorry to say, but it does happen. It may or may not have to do with what's happening financially. But outside of that, given that the eclipse is in a part of the sky that also has to do with self-love, self-esteem, it could be a moment where you are contemplating or considering the people in your life and how much they support a healthy self-concept for you? Or do they actually take it away? Do they make you feel good about yourself or do they make you not feel good about yourself? Like they're actively doing things that get in the way of healthy self-love for you, bringing doubt into your life. Your answers are going to be uniquely your own. Some friends, because they want better for you, will ask you certain questions that might be uncomfortable, but actually are quite poignant. And then others, it's not necessarily like that at all. Again, you will find your own nuances as you figure out your way forward from here. But for all that, yeah, money matters are going to come into focus new possibilities for income could be there that you have to respond to very quickly. Expenses could show up as well. But remember, when we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. Sometimes you have to do a little bit more to feel like it comes together for you, but it does have a way of coming together as you engage the spiritual lessons that present themselves. Now, navigating forward over the 9th and 12th, we have interesting and important energies playing out here with two big planets standing still in the sky and changing directions. It is on the 9th that Jupiter standing still will go retrograde. On the 12th, Pluto standing still will go direct. So Jupiter will go retro in a part of the sky for you that has to do with career, life purpose, and your understanding of a higher, more loving vision for your life. Jupiter standing still is at the height of its power, but the retrograde suggests that with opportunity and possibility, you are led inward to reflect more on what you have manifested and how you feel about the path that you're on. Is this a path towards success that is meaningful to you, that matters to you or not? Is it that you've allowed yourself to buy into a path that ultimately is superficial or not necessarily as big picture or long term as you would like it to be. But outside of the career path, this could be about an awakening of purpose and asking yourself some important questions to ensure that you are in alignment with what it is your purpose just might be. There can be a sense of stirring within on a soul level, a motivation to feel like you're more connected to that sense of purpose in your life now. Now on the 12th of the month, Pluto goes direct and this is very special. Pluto has been, for the most part since 2008, been in fellow Earth sign Capricorn. This is wrapping up the final loose ends, if you will. This is going to be the last time you'll have Pluto station standing still in this part of your sky. In November, Pluto will leave fellow Earth sign Capricorn not to return in your lifetime, will more comfortably set in for a nice long 20-year journey to the sign of Aquarius. I've been talking to you about that. I'll continue to talk about that as well as we move forward together. But having said that, yeah, you're coming to understand what you want in your heart of hearts in every area of life more profoundly, with greater depth, with greater nuance. 
and you're learning to focus in on it. And that very likely is going to be the urge that arises for you at this time. Where it is perhaps you're ready to summon some deep drive within your heart that has in many ways been building over these last many years. Now you understand this journey differently. And as you understand it, you're that much more empowered. How you're going to focus your energy to fulfill your heart's desires in all kinds of ways, well, that becomes that much more clear to you going forward from here. On the 17th of the month, we have this month's full moon. The full moon takes place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with profound change, truth, transformation, and regeneration. This is a part of the sky that digs very deeply within that asks you to look at what's happening um, with the secrets you consciously keep or the things you don't necessarily want other people to know. And that's also where the vulnerability is now as well. This full moon is hand in hand with Chiron. That brings with it a sense of being exposed and not in a comfortable way, unfortunately. We've got Mars squaring the full moon with precision. And just like the eclipse squaring Mars as well, there's a sense of being spurred into action and maybe feelings of frustration that are underlying a need to respond in a given moment and in a given way. This is a financial part of the sky as well, but this is money that has more to do with loans and grants and uh, benefits you might qualify for. So in some way, that might come into focus for some Virgos out there. And if that's the case, the thing to remember is when we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. You just have to engage those lessons to have it come together. But for all that, what we also get here is engaging lessons of transformation, regeneration, facing some truth, having an appreciation of where you desire things and you to be more authentic. And the superficial just doesn't cut it under energy like this. You want what's real. You want what matters. And you're able to see it more clearly now. Now, where it comes to matters of love, let's talk about this full moon as well, because this full moon, in addition to what I just mentioned, also has to do with intimacy and connecting more deeply and being known more deeply by another. And it is at this time that you are that much more inclined to want alliances that feel substantive, that feel real. Um, and again, the superficial, it just loses interest at this time. For those of you open to meeting someone new, there could be someone new that presents themselves now and it feels like this very powerful pull, if you will. And that just tells you that there's a lesson there, there's learning there, and it's up to you to decide what you're going to do about it. But know that there may be some profound feelings of vulnerability at this time as emotions stir very deeply for you as part of figuring out what it is that you'd like to do next. For those of you just starting to date somebody, this full moon does seem very all or nothing. It's about sharing more deeply, seeing how safe you feel, learning more deeply about them. I do have to say the thing to remember is, and, you know, unfortunately, we do need to be reminded of this sometimes, that person that you're just getting to know, that you're just dating, is not your therapist. And I just feel like whether it's them sharing way too much with you or you sharing a lot with them, it could lead and lend itself to sort of a mixed bag of feelings and emotions. And it becomes part of you asking yourself, what is the next step? What is it that you want to do? What is it that you're really feeling? Um, and it could end up being a game changer. It could end up being a deal breaker, what you learn about them or what they learn about you. So pace yourself and be yourself. You know, I like to say that trust whatever it is that needs to come together, but also know that this full moon having to do with authenticity, if it in any way isn't here with this person, it just isn't going to be of interest to you. And for those of you in an established bond, well, look, that full moon might bring your partner's income into focus in some way. So that is a possibility now. But for all that, 
this is a chance to share more deeply, to be known more deeply, to connect more deeply with this person that you're in relationship with. For the overwhelming majority, this is going to be a time when you do feel more exposed and vulnerable, but it ultimately helps the two of you feel that much connected. Now, there is going to be a small percentage of Virgos out there. If you've suspected you may not be in the right relationship for you, this full moon carries some pretty all or nothing energy. And if this is not someone that you want to move forward with, I think that truth for you will be rather clear. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here. It's a powerful and meaningful astrological moment. I'm going to say I love Pluto going direct. I think that is the star of the show. It gets you in touch with what your heart is really wanting and the power of your heart at this time. It gets you in touch with a deeper sense of knowing the strength of happiness, the strength of what it is that brings you genuine joy. With Pluto, you're not interested in superficial performances of happiness and joy. It's about tapping into the power of what is real. And once you're able to identify it, you're able to maximize it that much more. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign for as low as just $3 a month with Choose Your Membership Rate. Higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Links are in the description below. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.